Welcome back to Slow Living. If you are new to my channel, my name is Esther and I like to sew stuff that supports a slow lifestyle. So things around sustainability, um, being more eco-friendly, stuff like that. In this video, I will show you how to take in a skirt or pants that have a waistband. Having a waistband on a skirt or pants makes it slightly more difficult to sort of take in or take out because it just requires like an extra step of like unpicking and sewing the waistband back on. So in this video, I will show you how to do that. This particular skirt I've had for so long. I thrifted it um, as a cute little set. It's actually from APC, a beautiful French brand that I love and I got it at a bargain price for I think it was $18 Australian from the Salvation Army thrift store. Um, I've worn it to one event so far and that was only because um, I finally took it in and I finally made the skirt a bit smaller because before that it was a bit too big and I just couldn't wear it. So in this video, I'll use this skirt to show you the steps along the way for how you can also take in your own clothing and then tailor your clothes to fit you better so that they serve you really well in the long run. Let's get started. Okay, as you can see the skirt that I am taking in, there is quite a bit that I need to take in there. Um, it does have a side zip, which you can see here, which means that I can't simply sew down each side of the skirt, which would be a very quick little hack and a very easy way to take in a skirt. But because this has a waistband as well, it just wouldn't look as neat neat. So that's why I'm going to show you this way to do it instead. You'll need to grab a measuring tape and measure basically how much you need to take in your skirt. Once you have that measurement, so for me I measured one side and then I folded it in half to get the total measurement that I need to take off from my skirt. It ended up being a bit more than four inches. Once you note down that measurement, the next thing to do, which is really important, is to kind of inspect your skirt and see what uh, details already exist. So for me, you can see my skirt already has this tiny little tuck in the front, and then at the back, it also has darts. Tucks and darts are things in garments that help create the shape that we need to go around our bumps and curves. Generally, our waists are smaller than our hips, which means that we use tucks and darts to create that nice shaping for things to go in at the waist and then come out a bit wider at the hips. For my skirt I also have a lining. Um, thankfully the lining in this skirt is quite simple so I'm actually just going to combine that with the main fabric of the skirt and I'm going to treat that as one. So if your skirt also has a lining this is something to take note of. I would suggest just mimicking what you do with the main fabric to the lining fabric. Just take extra care with that. Um, also take note of the existing tucks and darts, like I said, that are already in your skirt. It would be a bit of an eyesore if you put a tuck next to a tuck instead of just using the same tuck and then extending that a bit more. So that's what I mean when I say to take note of what is already in the skirt and using that to your advantage instead of just simply placing new tucks and darts um, all over the place. If your skirt doesn't have any darts or tucks, then you don't have to worry about that. Now we're just going to unpick the waistband. I'm assuming that the skirt or pants that you're trying to alter has a waistband. Um, if it doesn't, then obviously don't worry about it. Um, but uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, if your skirt or pants have a waistband, it's one extra step that we have to be careful of. So the first thing to do is to begin unpicking. And importantly, to keep things nice and simple, if your skirt already has a zipper or buttons or something like that, some sort of fixture to sort of get the skirt on and off, I would would recommend leaving that alone. It makes it a lot simpler if you leave the zipper or buttons in place and we actually pick around it. So generally your zipper will either be at the center back of your skirt or on the side. So I would recommend leaving about four centimeters, four or five centimeters on either side of your zipper or buttons, leaving that in place and just unpicking all the way around it, leaving that five centimeters on either side. As you're unpicking your garment, you should be able to see that the waistband should come off completely from the rest of the skirt. Um, even after I unpicked the top stitching from the waistband, I actually had to unpick another line of stitching that was holding the skirt um, to the waistband still. So make sure that you unpick that as well. Basically, we want to try and separate that waistband from the rest of the skirt, except for where your zipper or buttons are. It took me a little while, but I figured out the best way to go about doing this whole thing. And so here I will draw a diagram for you. 
because I'm taking out essentially four inches from the entire skirt, I don't want to just take that from one place in the skirt because that will create a weird sort of shaping um, overall for the shape of the skirt. We don't want that. We want to space it out evenly throughout the front and the back of the skirt, especially since I'm taking out about four inches. So for me, that means separating that four inches in between those two spots on the front and the two spots on the back, which means that at each of those four markings, I'm going to take out at least one inch of fabric. So what I'm gonna do here is space out, measure out one inch of fabric, and then fold it over into a little tuck so that at each of those four points where I've taken out one inch each, that equals a total of four inches. Make sure that you use your own measurement for this. So whatever measurement you got at the very beginning, um, divide that by four and then use that smaller measurement to distribute evenly between the four spots on your front and the back. Secure all of those little tucks with pins like you can see here. And then once you've done that, you'll see that our waistband will be way too long because we've taken out all the fabric that we want. So now make sure you've got that measurement uh, in the beginning. It should be the same measurement that you took at the very beginning that you want to take off from the entire skirt. Um, and now we're going to take that off from the waistband. I had a tiny bit of top stitching still left on my waistband. So if you have the same, I would recommend unpicking it so that you can fully open up your waistband like this. Generally waistbands are one piece folded in two. So make sure you open it up so that it looks like mine. Then you can pin your measurement and then sew straight down so it ends up looking like this. Once you've done that, we can trim off the excess fabric from the waistband that we no longer need. Make sure that you check that it's correct before cutting it off because you will not be able to undo that. Now your waistband should be looking like this. Before we fold it back into place like this, we need to give it an iron. We need to press that seam open so that it's nice and flat for when we want to put it back onto the rest of our skirt. Pressing that seam open is a pretty important step, so don't skip it if you are tempted to. It makes a really big difference when you press your garments properly throughout the construction process. It makes things sit really nice and flat, so make sure you do that first. And now we're ready to sew down the tucks in our skirt. So um, as you can see here, all those little places where you popped your pins, you can simply use a sewing machine or you can hand stitch it and tack it down so that those tucks stay in place. Once you have sewn down all four of those tucks all around your skirt, we're ready to reattach the waistband to the rest of the skirt. Since we took out the same measurement from the actual skirt as well as the waistband, things should line up nice and flush and all you have to do is pin them together. Now with waistbands, it's nice to get a really neat finishing on the outside. So that means pinning one side of the waistband first, attaching that to the skirt, and then it should look something like this, where one side is attached and the other side of the waistband is not. And that's correct. So basically from here on, we want to encase that messy seam inside the waistband. So you can think of the waistband as sandwiching the skirt inside. And then all we do is pin it in place so that when we stitch down on the waistband, you sort of secure all of those threads and all those messy seams on the inside. And when everything is finished, you won't be able to see it at all. Do take care when you are top stitching this part because as you can see, the stitches are quite visible from the outside. So you just want them to be nice and neat. Now to finish off, you can press your skirt again, but otherwise your alteration is complete. It should look nice and neat from both the inside and the outside. And if you can't remember, this is what the skirt looked like before I altered it. And I will show you what it looks like after. So I hope that this video was helpful for you. This is a really simple way to make your clothes fit you beautifully. There's just something really satisfying about having pants and skirts, dresses and the like fit you really well. Because as you should know, all of our bodies are different and the way that garments are manufactured is just to fit like a stock standard size, which will rarely fit someone perfectly. If you had a go at doing this, uh, let me know. You can find me here, of course, leave a comment below and subscribe if this is helpful. 
subscribe if this video was helpful for you and if you'd like to see more sort of mending caring for your garment videos as well as thrifting um, and sewing your clothing from scratch you can also find me on instagram at slow living and that's slow with an e um, i hope that you're doing well and take care of yourself and i will see you in another video soon